San Francisco Bay is a, a very special place. There's lots of partners, lots of people who care about what, what goes on here, and they want to see habitat improvement, they want to see the bay improve, they want to see water quality improvement, they want to see the public to be able to, to get back out in these areas and enjoy these areas. The bay is a third smaller than it was, and most of the tidal marsh has been destroyed as a result of development, diking and filling for salt ponds, agriculture, houses, factories, airports. And down here, right where this uh, heavy equipment is, there's going to be a notch that water will be coming and going on each tide back into Pond A8 and we're slowly restoring it uh, back to the tidal marsh that it was. In such a large restoration, this is over 15,000 acres, can't do it all at once. So we have to take baby steps and we're doing science along the way to learn as we go to make sure that future phases of the restoration are informed by what we're doing here today. I mean, these ponds are ready to be restored. The good thing about diking all these ponds off is that it left all the historic channels in there. Um, so basically you open the breaches up and, and the, the water comes in and flows out the way it naturally did, you know, 100 years ago. These restoration projects are helping us get back some of that vital tidal marsh that used to ring the bay and that is so important, not just for endangered species, but for water quality and for recreation for the millions of people who live here in the Bay Area. With sea level rising, it's, it's even more important to restore tidal marsh because that's actually a form of natural shoreline protection. It can prevent floods and reduce the impact of high tides and storms when these areas next to the shoreline are vegetated with tidal marsh. It acts like a sponge and helps protect the communities on the other side. People treated marsh poorly. That's what we did. People used marshes as the dumping ground. I think we should have been uh, cherishing these areas and people are starting to do that again.